Uh, my name is Victoria Niel, I'm from Kazakhstan and I'm a Spring 2022 UCOM Fellow at the Centre for European Security Studies. Back home, I work as a researcher with PaperLab, which is a public policy research organization based in Astana, Kazakhstan, where we work on a broad range of issues from education to gender equality to domestic policy studies. Uh, I would say that as a whole, EU engagement in Central Asian region has evolved significantly over the past decade and a half. Uh, we first seen the articulation of EU's strategic interest in Central Asia with the launch of the 2007 EU strategy on Central Asia. And then of course the most recent version that came up in 2019 highlighted the most important priority areas for the EU in the region. Now with EU-Kazakhstan bilateral relations, of course they are predominantly defined uh, by the trade and economic relations since EU is Kazakhstan's biggest trade partner and that relationship is governed by the framework of Enhanced Partnership of Cooperation Agreement, which went into focus in March of 2020. I have more interest in the work that um, the EU does in base of promoting good governance, human rights, rule of law. I think in that specific sphere, EU can benefit from allowing for a more bottom-up approach in setting those priority areas, because as of now, I would say that the approach to EU engagement in Kazakhstan is very much a classic top-down approach where those priorities are set at the EU level by the EU and there isn't enough space for the local actors such as local NGO organizations and civil society activists uh, to lend their voice and articulate the most pressing needs that we have in the country. For example, right now from the calls for applications that come out of the EU for Kazakhstan, we see that the priority is mostly on empowering women and girls, by giving youth opportunities in terms of training programs and skills, uh, but also in uh, incorporating some of the digital technologies in several areas of life, including, uh, for example, e-governance. I would say those are important issues, of course, and they need to be addressed, but they aren't the most pressing ones and they are the ones where EU can make the most difference. Right now in Kazakhstan there are a number of political reforms being undertaken by our president in the wake of the January 2022 protests that took place in the country and those reforms promised stronger civil society and a modernization of our public administration institutions. Here for the EU I see the window of opportunity to engage and support Kazakhstan in implementing these these reforms, make sure that they are founded on the principles of rule of law, good governance, uh, democratization, lie with EU's long-term goals in the